Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play A Hat In Time. In the last episode, we, well, you know, we did seal the deal. We did a new time rift, which is something special for seal the deal, I guess. Uh, we did actually end up using the peas and trees, trees and peas, and uh, it does give us all three of the, the badges for that mission. So we'll try and avoid it for the future. Zero jumps, jumps, uh, sounds interesting. Collect any timepiece without jumping. Any timepiece without jumping. The bonus is collect four timepieces without jumping and clear train rush without jumping. Okay. Interesting. So basically, I now must go through all of those missions and do them all. So this, uh, I dislike the train rush. Especially because we just spent like five minutes trying to do it in the last episode. Hard mode, of course, but you know. I guess it'll be easy mode, but it's going to be, you know, fast. So, four missions. I'm assuming that, I, t I take that to mean that one of these must be, be impossible. Murder on the Owl Express must, uh, I can't imagine that one being a problem. Um, Picture perfect. I yeah, that one... You shouldn't have to. In fact, I think this one would be the easiest, and we get to listen to the really good remix. So, you know what? We'll start with this. Alright. So, we actually do have a bit of a problem here. In this stage, there's a glitch that can occur. This glitch can... Will they love me? Yeah, they'll become my fan. So, in this stage, uh, obviously, like, you know, it shouldn't be theoretically too difficult but if you get hit by a car it disables your ability to dive and to use your ice hat i don't know why it only disables it if you're on the ground so literally this one mission this specific mission is ruined because of a glitch that occurs only if you're hit by a car i tried getting damaged in other ways they didn't disable my my use of the ice hat, they didn't disable my use of the dive, it's only getting hit by a car. So keep that in mind if you're trying to do this. Anyway, so uh, I don't think I showed this off in the last uh, time we did this. We did a no jumping mission, but uh, using the ice hat gives you a tiny, tiny boost that you can use to use ti make tiny hops, because it does not count, actually, which is great and wonderful. So, okay, let's do the cooking show over here. Uh, it's just another, it's a layer of worry. Like, you get hit by that car, you die, basically. It's a one-hit kill. Yeah, tuna. Tuna, boys. All right. So there should be a good path up top through one of these ways. I'm not sure how many fans we actually need to get. So, of course, you know, we're going to be getting as many as we can. Uh, we do need to be careful about getting onto these poles these strings because they, you know, we can't jump off of them unless we actually, if we do get hit by a UFO, they'll allow us to get off. So we have that going for us. There's a token over there. I think I can get to it, actually. I know I can actually... Huh. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Oh, that was close. we we'll just take this as carefully as we can. Huh. It's basically, it's almost a full jump when you think about it. That, that does get us some pretty gnarly distance. Max Diva. We did it, just like that. Yep, we've done it. Neat. Oh, we should be able to get that, right? With our little icy jump. There we go. Just don't get hit by a car on the way back. That would suck. Hit. And grab. Cool, we didn't even have to jump to get it. Neat. Well, there's one. So here's my question. Do we have to do all the stages in a row without jumping? Or will it not deplete our meter in that little bonus mission there? Man, what other missions could we do without jumping? Ooh, that's a little laggy. Whoa, what are we doing here? Yeesh. Okay, so what else could we do? Obviously, we must be able to do train rush. 
Well, I guess we could do the finale, too. Hold on. Hold on. One of the funniest things it could do right here is if the hourglass just spawns direct... Oh, no! It gives us the real finale! I honestly thought it was going to give us that fake finale. I... Ugh, this is a really long mission. I don't know if we can really do the marching band without jumping, to be honest, so... This might be one of our only hopes. Uh, I mean, well... You know, logic would dictate. You could probably do the first mission without jumping, right? Look at this nonsense. Um... I think we have came across an early roadblock here. I'm not sure if there's any way up. Uh-oh. It's not going to reset our meter if we just go back to the hub, right? Hold on, if I, like... Okay, I can climb, so... Oh, hold on. Uh... Bonk badge. Oh my god. We can really do that? That's... That's nuts. That's going to allow us to actually do a lot of this, isn't it? Okay, we're on a roll. We're about to fight a boss without jumping. Ugh. Oh, this is gonna happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm about to subject you to probably what's going to be 30 minutes of me running through this stage without jumps. No, nope, get me up there. Hold on. Ugh, that gives me so much more... Oh, whoops. That gives me so much more height. That's nuts. So you could probably... Oh, that's not even close. Oh, it resets you. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Wow, that reset me all the way back to the beginning. Okay. Maybe we can't do that since that doesn't move in this version. Why does it lag every time we go back to the main menu? Alright. I mean, the big parade could be possible, don't you think? Well, let's do Train Rush since that is one of the bonus objectives. Sorry if I spend a little bit of extra time on this specific mission. Just because I, I really find it fascinating, to be honest. We might call it at this one without getting the rest of them. Because we do have the grappling hook, right? That, that'll that do half of our jumps for us. To be fair, I'm afraid of mashing through text with the A button now. Okay, so... This shouldn't be as hard as last time, right? Could probably do this pretty normally now that I think about it. Oh, wow, we have a... Huh. Hold on. Does wall jumping count? Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, we might have to take hits on some of these to, like, get us through. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's basically a free jump, isn't it? Hitting the, hitting the lava. If there's anything we can't make, we could just lava bounce it. Okay. You know what? The more I'm looking at this, the more I'm thinking, oh, this is actually possible, isn't it? This is just easy, like, boom. Oh, that's going to reset us. Yeah, okay, we can't do the bonk there. We, I don't think we're going to be able to get that. Little, uh, oh! <laughs> just grab. Uh-oh, uh, time might be a little bit of a problem here. If nothing else. Please! Please! <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, I love it. Okay. And we could just hit that without needing to get in the air. Oh, how are we going to do this? Oh, it just barely doesn't make it. Okay, in that case, huh. I don't think we're going to have enough time to do this now. So here's what we have to do here then. Try to make this all the way over. Oh my god, that works. Boom, there's another 20 seconds. Okay, so far so good. 
I think maybe this first run is just like a confirmation. Yeah, this can work. Look at that. I don't think we're going to be able to get that. Oh, that's game over right there, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe we can do it. It's iffy, though. With a, I, I did skip a couple of time timers, so that is probably my fault. Yeah, I don't think we can make it. No, I jumped. I jumped. It was... <laughs> I know we weren't going to make it e anyway. Okay. Oh, jeez. Like, I'm not even kidding when I say that one jump t took me longer to figure out than the entire, like, last level all together. That's nuts. Hopefully we can, like, get to the next checkpoint with this because we have plenty of time and uh, not have to worry about that again. That'd be very nice. Boom. All right, we can move forward. There should be plenty of time to do it. So this should be the checkpoint. Bada bing, bada boom. I think the rest should be pretty easy because once again, we have the lava to bounce off of if we ever need it. There's plenty of health in the, in the region. Like, look at this. Health out the wazoo, even though I'm getting blown up every 20 seconds. Should bring us high enough to get on. Neat. And it's pretty simple from there, I think. Just get these, move on. We could just run from these. Oh, ouchie. Just need to make sure we don't get stuck under one of them. Ah, it's two. Okay, let's actually jump to these. Wait, what? What? I was on the ground? No. Oh, I hate that. Sometimes, like, your little cotton... Dude. Really? Really? There's not a checkpoint in there? Man. It was all okay. Like, I did it, and I was like, oh, Craig, great. I don't have to, you know, do that one jump again, so it's fine, right? Nah. Nah, you know what? Let's let's put you right before that terrible, terrible jump. We did it. Oh, God, finally. Man, it really is just I enjoy whatever they do until they put a timer on it. Like, every single challenge that's had a timer has been absolutely miserable to play. And then anyone that didn't have a timer was... It's fun. It's legitimately fun. I don't know why they... Yeah, great. We got a point. I don't know why they fall back on just timers for difficulty. On so many of... Much of this. It's, it's disappointing, but I guess that's really one of the very few ways you can use difficult... That's not true at all. I don't know what, what nonsense I'm spouting. I don't know, man. Anyway, Deadbird Studio should probably be good. Uh, Murder on the Owl Express is going to take a literal hour to do. So, uh, you know. I could probably do the big parade. I'd fall on the ground so much, though. Uh, it's going to be so hard. Let's try it. I suppose. It, uh, it's weird talking on these now, because I'm just so used to being silent for a literal 30 minutes. So, okay. That first mission... Right? Took me about uh, 15 minutes to do. That one jump on its own took 20 minutes. Ugh. Okay, so like... I didn't do it. And now I'm done. Yeah. It's just, there's nothing I can do. You just gotta die. Man, I'm not... Not sure about this stage. Uh-oh. And I jumped. I jumped. God, I wish you didn't have to press the A button to do anything. Ugh, I'm done with this. The the one aggravating part about this, I just realized there's little hats on the timepiece. The one aggravating part about this is I can't just debind my A button because the amount of times. I just reflexively press A to, like, try and avoid, avoid damage or something is way too much. But I can't just unbind the A button because I need to use it to, like, get out of my dashes or to, I don't know, just do so much else. It, ugh. You know? You know? I'm just gonna take it. 
I'm just gonna take it. Nostalgia Batch. Oh my god, no way. No way. Oh, let's slap that bad boy on right now. Nostalgia Badge. Oh, it puts it into 4-3. Everything's pixely like it's Nintendo 64. Oh, that's kind of funny. All right. Let's do it. Oh, it's one of the stinky ones. Also, I like how it... It's a game octahedron. Isn't that in the game somewhere? Isn't that like what's out here or something? Oh, look at these nasty textures. Yeah, it's that thing right there. Which they removed this te Look at this. There's nothing on screen anymore. Oh my gosh, it really does destroy the game, doesn't it? it? It glitchy textures and all. Oh, that's perfect. Now we're playing with power. Okay, next death wish right now. So, that's the boss, right? Killing two birds. Do we fight both of them at the same time? This next project is a collaboration. There's a lot going on here, but don't let yourself get distracted. Remember, kid, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, so we're going to have to fight both of them at the same time. I hope that's the only thing that's harder. And I'm going to do it with this nostalgia badge, because you know... Because you know... We got... Oh god, look at this. What? What? I just died. Hold on, did I not... Did I not stop that? Hold on. Did I not undo that one? Because I turned it in, right? Death Wish. Uh, disable. Oh my goodness, I didn't disable it. Play. Yeesh. Yeesh, boys. All right, now let's do this. Look at these ugly boys. This looks like an FMV on a GameCube. Wait, hold on, what? Was that new dialogue? Oh my god. Holy gosh. Eww. So everything's doubled then, right? Oh, I tried to get him. Do we still get, like, heart pawns every now and again? I can hit him, like, twice as often, though. You know, that's the good part. And they're going to be doing different attacks at different times. That's going to be confusing. Oh, there's too much. Oh, that's too much. Mmm. Ugh. There's just no way to... There's no way to handle that when they're all, like, doing their separate saw attacks. Like, if they're both throwing them from up top, yeah, that's manageable. If they're both throwing them from the bottom, that's manageable. But when they split it, it's l actually impossible. It's nuts. It's almost funny how easy some of these early attacks are compared to it throwing, like, bl blade saws at the speed of sound at me. Expect me to avoid it. As opposed to just their, like, little silly belly flops, you know? Like, oh, that's gonna get me. Oh, you killed me with your belly flop. Nah, it's like throwing five darn saws at once is what is the killer here. Oh, come on. Yeah, stab me. You'll really get me that time. Oh, I was in the air. Baloney. Are we stabbing now? Are we stabbing? Or are we? Oh, he's not doing the stab! Doing the blade throw. Okay, we're good. We're gooch. Car time! Okay, at least they're in sync. Keep them going. Neat. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Alright, let's get you. Now what? 
Okay, they're doing the same thing except backwards. I guess I'll get you again. Hey! Synced again. Neat. Works for me. Okay, sure. I'll take one hit. Just as long as I'm not taking multiple hits from, like, the save- Oh, excuse me? That was kinda rude. Nope. No thanks. I'm good. So, next phase? Next phase. Although it's not zoomed in on them, oddly enough. But... There we go, got them both quick, so... Hopefully they should be somewhat in sync. Get him. There we go. Ah! I missed him. Ah, got him. Okay, good, 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 good. We're getting lots of damage in here. Oh, no hits yet. No hits yet. We're absolutely, like, terrifyingly bopping them. Ah, I did that a little early. Yeah, I couldn't get to him because I took a hit. I can't hit him! There we go. Slow down time again just so I can get my bearing straight. Oh, they're already sawing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How good are we? Where are we at? Where are we at? Am I get Another phase? Another phase? Yet to another. What? Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, God. Oh. I don't think I can do it. Uh, okay. Yeah, keep trying to stab me, boys. Oh, that did it! Oh my goodness, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Wait, no way! No! I had to be- I had to kill- I um... Mm -hmm. Wow, look, I did it! Just like before. With no difference at all. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Easy, so easy! Wow, I can't believe it. It's like, it wasn't even hard. Yeah, I used peace and tranquility. It's just like... You know, I beat it. There's no question that I beat it, and I just didn't know that I had to keep avoiding them until I got the hourglass. So, you know. No reason. There's no reason, except for that, you know, that good internet cred. Man... Man. Man, there's so much left. I I only I can only pray that Oh no. It's like I was literally about to say, I can only pray that the rest are not mostly timed. And what do you know? Immediately speedrun rail. What let me guess. Speedrun something. Bird sanctuary. Oh, wow, jeez. I am full of gas. Bird sanctuary. Hurting birds is not allowed. Oh. Oh, God bless. Thank you for the one good mission. I'm assuming that's a fight against the Snatcher, right? Because that, that's what we're all leading up to. All the bosses are going to play into that. Okay. Well, I mean, it might be Hat Kid. Or, uh, Mustache Girl. Anyway, yeah. I guess... I guess we'll go on to Subcon. Yeah. No, you don't get the... You don't get the prize if you... Oh, no, you do. Never mind. So that one gives you the, the parade outfit. Okay, sure, I'll equip it. Okay, yeah, at this point, I don't think that I'm going to hold off on using Peace and Tranquility too much. Just because, like, there's no reason for me to avoid it, really. Because you don't lose anything from the game. I guess you just don't get to see the bonus objectives that I wouldn't have done anyway. You know? So, I don't know. Anyway, see you all in the next episode when we go on to Subcon Forest. See you all then, and goodbye.